Hello friends, welcome to the new tutorial of the React Native. So today we are going to learn how to create a cart functionality, product details, products and the adding to the cart functionality in the React Native. So let's get started how we are going to do it. Let's take a demo. So these are this is this is the product listing. Okay, so when I click off any of the product, okay, so we have the add to cart functionality. When I click on add to cart, here you can see that see that there is a cart five. So add to cart, it automatically update the six. And if I go to here, and I can see that um, <coughs> the total amount of the data that we have calculated over here, you can see that organic sweet and this one. Okay, so this is how we can create such kind of functionality in the react native like the e-commerce system like the cart add to cart functionality in the react native so let's see how we are going to make such kind of things in the react native so let's get started okay so i'm using the context api not the redux thunk reduces i'm not using here on in the coming videos i am going to replicate this with the help of the redux and the reducers so currently it is using the context api so let's see how we are going to implement it. So here we can go with the uh, main file that is app.js. So this is app.js is here, okay? So you can see that we have installed the React Native stack and this one, okay? And we are going to create a stack navigator, okay? To navigate, this is a product list, product details, and we have the cart icon on the top, right? After this, we have a screen so first a screen is gonna be like the product listing so it's like product listing over here so if it first it will be the product listing so here we are going to render the product listing with the product details okay here we can see that what we have taken we have key extractor with the data products and render item in the flat list so we are using the flat list and render in the data we are running all the products okay so here is the products so here is the products and where the products is product.js okay so this is the product.js and here we have styles.thumb and source image okay and uh, where the data all comes from the data is come from from the here you can see that the product.js this is the component and we have a card screen we have product list product this one and this is services where we have the json one so you can see that we have made the json one products to get all the data over here like the image description and the name right so we in the product listing we are showing you can see that get products is calling so you can see that get products is here so it return all the products what we have okay so it the products you can see that products is here okay so it will return all the products into it and set the products so we are just getting into it and show all the products over here okay product list and these are the background colors okay product listing part is done after this we have on click on that we are going to migrate over the one of the you can see next screen that is product details screen okay so after clicking on it we are going to move on to the next product details screen you can see that product details screen is here okay so we are also set the product with the product id okay so when i click on that it will open this one and we, with the button press add to cart right and after clicking on the add to cart functionality on add to cart here you can add item to the cart this is use context api and here we are adding items to the cart okay so let's see the cart functionality here over here so we have cart i'm not flat listed where is cart context this is the cart context and it is the add item to the cart okay so this is the functionality what it set items so it previous item it will check the quantity product price then else it will check the previous items and then map that item with the quantity and get the items count total price and it will set in the provider cart context provider and we are just getting it and pulling out in the card screen you can see that over here in the card screen 
when I click on the card screen you can see that we have the total and all so this is getting it from the this one card gets provided set items get items count and all all this data we are passing into the card context provider whenever you try to call it we will get all the details over here right this is the card context API and where we have the card screen we have a product in this is the card icon basically and uh, screens we have already we have cards george screen so this is the card screen where we have a total then we have rendering the product item then we have a flat list of render item and all these things okay so this is how we can create a full-fledged e-commerce system full not full-fledged like a card system functionality that is a requirement of everything okay you can see that we all get the data from the card context so here you can see that here we have a totals we here we are returning the line to card item render item and all the data in the flat list okay so this is that we have done for creating a card functionality so i think clear cart is uh, missing and remove item from the cart is missing so we are going to learn learn these things in the coming videos in the later videos with the help of the redux thunk and the reducer okay so any query any issue in that just let me know in the comment section okay thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a great day